Well, hello there, everybody. Mental Fox here. We are getting ready to play the Eva Within. Oh, boy, what am I doing? This looks like a scary place already. Don't get me wrong, I love scary games. I used to play them all the time. I remember, one of my all time favorite scary games was this game called The Suffering on the original Xbox. If you haven't played that and you get the opportunity, give it a shot. That is a good scary game. That's a real good one. Just uh, one I could think of off the top of my head. It's been a while since I played a scary game. I don't know if I'm just getting older and uh, scary games are just scarier to me now or what. But um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm scared to play the scary game. I am. I admit it. But, you know, it's supposed to be a pretty cool game and a lot of people want to see me play it. So what the heck, I'm going to give it a shot. I've already set up all my controls and my graphics the way I want them. So I think we're ready to get going. I'm going to click new game here. And we'll get started on the Evil Within. Please adjust the brightness so that the mark in the center is barely visible. It's barely visible. I'm going to set a little... Why did that move? I'm going to set it a little bit brighter because when I record and then render it and then put it up on YouTube, it, it generally turns out uh, darker than it looks when I play the game. And I don't want it to be too dark when you watch it on YouTube. So we'll, we'll go with this, uh, this brightness right here. See how that goes. Okay. All right. Okay, I did that. Now what? How do I go forward here? I did it. Oh, hit enter. Huh. Once the difficulty level has been selected, it cannot be raised during gameplay, but it can be lowered. Lowering the difficulty during gameplay will restart the chapter. The difficulty setting can be changed in-game via the options menu. Ah, survival difficulty. Challenge. And overcome your fears. That's standard difficulty. This is for the weak and fearful. <laughs> Come on. Come on. What do you think I'm going to do? Survival. Come on. Standard difficulty. All right, I already am not too impressed with uh, the controls. I tell you what, setting up the controls in the menu was a pain in the butt. And even here, it doesn't even tell you to press enter. You just kind of have to know. So that was, that was my first complaint about the game. Stay far away enough from enemies that they can't grab you. I like that advice. <sighs> here we go. One eight four copy code three ETA three minutes. Copy one eight four. Sorry, detectives. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? A call went out just before I picked you up. It said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. One three one, please advise. Hey, maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, it gives you the creeps, doesn't it? 127, 124, please respond. Joseph, you think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene, respond. Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problem with each other in the sun of the memorial. Is there any... God damn it! Jesus! What? Junior Detective Kidman. She seems fine. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll know everything. Dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. All right, let's have a look around. So who are we? 
Are we him? Are we them? I don't even know if this is a first person or a third person game. Chapter one, an emergency call. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna guess, uh, well not guess, it appears it is a third person game. All right, I'm out of here. Too scary for me. Thanks for watching. I'm just kidding. Check that place out. That's pretty cool. So is it daytime or nighttime? Kind of looks like maybe just it's daytime, but it's overcast. <clears throat> All right, just kind of. I'm gonna follow her. Hmm. I guess I can't run yet. I have a key set up for sprint, but I guess I can't sprint just yet. With some pretty high heels she's wearing for her police uniform. I mean, I guess she's part of the police. I guess. I don't know. These guys are like zombies. Hello? Hello? There. Haha, I made you stop. Oh, man, he kind of walked through me. Spoiler alert, they're ghosts. Alright, I, I hope they're really not. I don't really know. It smells like blood. Alright, stay sharp. Oh, yeah. We're gonna check it out. Don't let anyone else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. You're a backup. Hmm. Wow. Um. Uh. Alright, so. I take one look in here and I'm like, okay, we're calling for backup. This does not look good. I mean, come on, who just walks in here like this? Jeez. Someone alive in here. Oh, okay. Where? Where is he? Where'd he go? I already lost him. I'm already all by myself. Where'd he go? Oh, hey, how's it going? Are you injured? What happened here? Can't be real. Impossible. Ruvik is... I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. All right, well, let's see if the security cameras talk. Hmm. Live feed. Oh, wonderful. What the... Okay. Um... Ugh! What the... What... Excuse me? Hell? Yeah, what the hell indeed. Get the hell out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get dude, get out of there. Run. Run. Dude, get the what? I tried to tell him to get out. They never listened to me. They never listen. I wonder if that was the Rubik guy he was talking about. Ugh. 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 Oh, hi there, little rat. Here's some blood for you to drink. Oh, man. Oh. Whoa, that's quite a neck I got there. Whoa! What the... Ugh. Uh... Uh... Uh-huh. Rotate camera. Well, I'm trying. I think, uh, I think that's all I want to see. Alright. Alright. Rotating the camera. Now what? What's going on with these other people? Press V repeatedly. What the heck does that mean? Alright, I'm gonna press V repeatedly. I generally will map my controls so that V is kind of like my interact or action button. I know that's probably unusual. Very non-standard, but it's just something left over from way back when I played the first Half-Life. I just used V as my interact button, and I've used it as interact ever since. 
I don't know what the uh, default was. Is there a crouch? Can I crouch? I want to crouch. I'm just going to have a look around here. Did I get a weapon? Well, I picked up that knife. Isn't there a crouch? I feel like I should be crouching. Sneaking. Control? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, how did I miss that? How did I miss that? I... Sneak. Ah, oh, that's how I missed it. Sneak. I prefer that to be... C. What do I have C mapped to? What did I have C? Cancel or burn. I don't know. B. There. That sounds good, right? So, uh, not that you care, but I am an EDSF guy. E forward, D back, S strafe left, F strafe right. How in the world WASD became standard, I do not know. EDSF is far superior. Try it out. You'll see what I mean. Gives you more access to more uh, buttons. You use your pinky on A or Q or Z. And uh, what I mostly like about it is, I don't know about you, but when I rest my hand on the keyboard, my index finger goes on F. That's how you type. Which leaves my middle finger for E and D. Anyway, you didn't tune into this thing to hear me talk about superior gaming control schema. Up, 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 up. Uh. Uh, what? Dude, what, what are you doing? Put your hand down. Why you got your hand up like, Hello, crazy psycho guy, I'm over here. Alright. Okay, well, I guess we'll go in here then. I guess, I don't know. Oh, uh, mistake. Mistake. Mistake, he's coming back. Mistake. He's coming back. He saw me. He's mad. Oh, he's very fast too. Alright, well. Thanks for playing. Maybe, maybe... <laughs> that was awesome. Alright. Melee attacks are primary defensive and best used blah blah blah. Okay, so he came back. He came back, which is bad. Is there any weapons around here that I can help myself to? It does, doesn't he have a spare... Ugh. That just came down the chute. you have a spare machete I can use, maybe? Can I go through this door? No. Locked I guess that means it's locked. Shit indeed. Um, so, uh, scary game. I will probably have a pretty foul mouth. Um, I generally don't cuss just, you know, to be cussing, but uh, if something scares me, I'm probably gonna say some nasty words, so hopefully that won't offend you too much. But there's nasty words in the game, you know? What do you expect? Uh, okay, so he's gonna leave. Is there... What the hell? Ooh, pick up. There was something to pick up. Pick up what? What was it? Pick up. Ordinary keys. A key ring found in the mental hospital basement. These were in use long before the hospital's modern security system was put in. Who wrote this game? Is this like, um, like an Asian company? Who did this? Okay, I have keys. I'm going to see if I can... Oh, he saw me. He saw me. Can I run? Oh, son of a... Alright, hey, I bet, I bet he chops off my head next. <laughs> I knew it. Alright, so I got the key, but I didn't get in there quick enough. So, alternate control schemes can be selected in the options menu. Okay, great. Alright, we're going to get it this time, everybody. We're going to get it this time. So much for uh, a no-death playthrough. Well, I never said I was going to do that, but... Um... Good thing I didn't, because <laughs> the playthrough would already be over with. I mean, you know, when I play a game, I do kind of like, you know, pretending like, ooh, this is really happening, you know, this is really me, and I try to play it without dying. Um, but I've already failed. So, uh, dude, move, jeez. I don't really like playing games where I, I just have to do things trial and error over and over again like we're doing here right now but you know you take what you can get use uh, 
Okay, I guess that means I used the key. Quiet, quiet. Oh, stairs up. I like the sound of up. I wonder where my buddies went. I wonder where that other cop went. Where's, where's, uh, freaky dude? Oh, I, I cannot see around that corner. I don't like that. I'd like to see around this corner, please. Thank you. There we go. We'll just do a little bit more sneak in here. Why do uh, scary characters in video games always listen to classical music played on a phonograph? Why is that? What the? What the? Who the? What? Um. Shit. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm running. Uh, I'm a running. I'm running. Okay. Don't look back. Just run, dude. Yeah. Run. 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 How can that guy be faster than you? Uh... Run! Run, dude! Run! Run! Oh my god, is that as fast as... Don't turn around! Run, you jerk! Examine. There we go. Oh! Uh, uh, gross! Uh, gross! Oh, what the hell? Oh, come on! Oh! Ah, what the hell? Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, I can practically taste that. Ugh. Oh, man. What's up? Dude, are you alright? Dude, are you okay? I guess not. Alright, well, I wonder how long it's going to be before that guy comes at me again, so let's get the hell out of here. Climb up. Oh, okay. I don't climb up automatically. I need to press forward to get him to climb up. Alright, and... That feels like going back. I don't like the thought of going that direction, especially since that door looks like it has the old universal symbol for do not enter on it. However... I don't really know what other options we have. Ugh. What's that? What's that on the right hand of the screen, side of the screen there? It looks like... Uh, what the... What was that all about? What does that mean? Alright, let's see what's down here before I go that direction. Anything? Anything to examine? Anything to help myself to? No? Nothing? Alright, fine. Be that way. I didn't want anything anyway. Alright, I really did. Like a weapon. I mean, I know I picked up a knife early in the game. That's how I cut myself down. Where did I, what did I do with it? Why don't I have that knife anymore? Ugh. Where the hell are we? Sure does walk slow in this crap. So, <clears throat> I kind of want to look around to see if there's... <laughs> I'm just kind of like going through this stuff. See if there's anything worth getting in here. I mean, I don't know if there is or not. It's kind of looking like not, maybe. Maybe I just want to get the hell out of here. So, let's go over to this ladder. Come on, you big wuss. It's just a chainsaw scrape. Alright, let's climb up. Do I want to go down there? Man. You know what I'm saying? Do I want to go all the way down to the end of that? You know? Climb down. Alright, well, I'll probably regret this. And you'll probably regret this. Watching me walk all the way in here. But what if there's something cool down here? You know? What if there's like a weapon down here? Or some health? Or something? So, we'll just kind of like go down this scary little corridor here very very slowly and we'll see if there's anything down here because um hey i like to explore and for those of you tuning in this is a let's play it is not meant to be a walkthrough of the game i've never played it before how could i do a walkthrough of it but if you watch this and it helps you get through certain parts of the game more power to you i couldn't be happier However, this is a let's play. This is me playing the game. 
me uploading it to YouTube, and then you watching it, if you so desire. Personally, I prefer watching Let's Plays. I like watching people experience games for the first time. Usually I will watch a game that I've played myself, just to see how other people react to the same things that I experienced when I played the game, to see how other people get through tricky parts that I made it through. That's my preference. Let's not to say I won't watch a walkthrough. Walkthrough I'll reference if I come apart come to a part in a game that I can't get through. I get stuck. And then that's what a walkthrough is helpful. But let's let's plays can be helpful as well. Alright, so I walked all the way down there for nothing. And, you know, I could have sped that up, but I was too busy blabbing, and I don't want you to miss out on my entertaining dialogue. I mean, why else would you be watching this if not for my entertaining dialogue? Uh, what's with the guy in the chair there? 